We have the car up and we're just going to do some autocross prep with some protection or protection and some new 200 tread wear tires. At my last autocross, as sure you can see, at my last autocross, my front splitter got destroyed from a huge chunk of like cement that just got. It was a bad parking lot and a huge chunk of cement just came off and destroyed the front lip, cracked it, I repaired it with some epoxy because carbon fiber is just glue and carbon fiber weaves, right? So repaired it with epoxy, doesn't, let's be honest, at the speeds I'm going, the splitter doesn't really do too much, so it's more like aesthetic, so we fixed that. But the more important thing is the under trick. Yeah, uh, splash guard got destroyed. Just a crack in it. I mean, it's just a splash guard, so it doesn't really matter too much. My biggest concern was chunks of the oil cooler just scratched and mangled. You see right here, right here, right here. There's suspicious um, staining here. Might be oil, I'm not too sure. It's not leaking, so hopefully it holds. You can see right here the cooler grid is like mangled. I'm surprised this didn't bust. But you know, protection is everything, so that's why I ordered Mishimoto uh, skid plate. I'm gonna throw that on there before anything bad happens. Complete. Hopefully, it won't damage the oil cooler any more than it is already damaged.
Another thing is I went from the stock uh, 19 by 9.5 wheels to 19 by 10 and from the stock 275 to 285 and especially the RE71 RS's they tend to run pretty like wide and bulky so on full steering lock it rubs against these fins and that also happens if you were to go with like spacers that are too big luckily I have the Michelin's from factory so the Michelin's itself even with the 13 millimeter spacer in the front it doesn't rub but I figured since I'm gonna run the 285's in autocross I might as well just fix that rubbing issue right now by removing the fins and replacing it with a grid it's like kind of machined out mesh that I purchased from my favorite AliExpress Ohio Motors they're the same company that made the valve controllers I have on the car they're really simple it's just a machined metal grid that pretty much replaces it like that so what we're gonna do is cut out these OEM slots and replace it with this grill I think it's more like, like this Alright, and with the cuts and mounted, this is what it looks like. Uh, ignore the cuts on the bottom, it's ugly, my hand slid, not my best work, but yeah, no one's gonna see it. Hit it. Put on by a few uh, nuts, uh, a few nuts and bolts. Pretty simple. And hopefully, the fins are gone so the tires won't rub on it. what it looks like fully installed it's out the way and uh, hopefully when I put on the tire it doesn't rub That's pretty much it for autocross prep. We have the we have the new VS5 RSs on with RE71 RSs, 285 squared, 19s front and rear. Nice square setups, and we could, re we could rotate it if necessary. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, and of course, we have the new um, skip plate on, so hopefully I won't destroy my oil cooler. So hopefully I won't destroy my oil cooler and uh, just die on the tr little course. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think next thing, just give it a quick wash and should be ready. The most important thing for prepping for autocross, in my opinion, is get the car all set up. Yeah, that's important and everything, but also got to get the other stuff prepped. So, you know, make sure you have the autocross numbers, your food, water, your tire pressure, all the accessories you got to bring with you in the car. Because tomorrow is going to be like 80s, 90s. It's going to feel like it's 100. And we're going to be in the sun all day, especially when you do on cone duty. So, make sure you're hydrated, you got your shades, everything else. Because the driver protection is actually more important than getting the car in my opinion all right so thank you guys so much for watching and um that's it for today peace